intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Welcome back, Star Trek Fleet Commander. Today, I want to talk about the new player experience, but how I want to take things that are happening for new players, and I would love to see them happening for other sets of players in the game. So this is a video that's going to try to help new players as well as OG players. And when I say new things, I'm not just talking about the fact that if you pop into the event store real quick, there's $1 packs in the pay store. Like that's many of you veterans, that's absolutely insane. I can literally not wait to see the comments of people who just saw $1 packs in Star Trek Fleet Command. But for new players, as you're trying to explore like this level 12 account is, and you're trying to learn what to do, Having an instructional system and tutorial is critical. And the basic premise, by the way, if you're a new player watching this game, you want to level up. And the way to level up is to increase the power of your operations building. Primary way to level up in the game. Right now, I am uh, dealing with lag that taking me a long time to try to make this video today. Bear with the lag. Obviously, the game is experiencing issues. But beyond that, there are still good things I still want to focus on, like when this came out. Y'all remember the Battle Simulator? Completing it gave a full unlock of James T. Kirk, which has been there for several months now and hopefully doesn't get forgotten. I was talking with game design. I love this feature. I do hope to see this get used more in the future. Stuff like this, like added to the game, but people might have differing opinions. But for this purpose, it's great, especially for new players. But it's not just that. There's also events now that are fantastic for teaching new players the game. Let me show you. Some of those events, you have things like Warp Speed, which is teaching you the value of using speed ups, but rewarding you for it with what is in this point of the game, a pretty nice amount of Latinum, Par Steel, and again, I told you there was lag issues, but I've re-recorded this several times. And Par Steel, and now the game's in maintenance mode. But beyond these style of events, there's more than that. Here, I want to show you what I'm talking about, okay? Do the game is going to go into maintenance mode, but we got stuff like this. So I showed you unlocking James T. Kirk, right? You know that's a thing. You knew that was going to be a thing. But you didn't know, maybe, of things like this. Did you know that the game now gives you Nero by logging in every day? Just logging in. Seven days in a row for new players, you now get Nero. Now, here's how the rewards start. You start off day one getting ship XP, explore parts to make your reality better, far steel, dilithium, standard recruit tokens, and then Nero shards. As you can imagine, it's going to follow suit here, where now you get battleship parts, officer XP, standard recruit tokens, an avatar badge. Again, they're giving out these frames and badges a lot early on, which I have no qualms or problems with. I think that's great tactics. Number three, more speed ups. You see one hour speed ups, 10 minute speed ups, 50 survey parts for the ECS Fortune that you just unlocked as a low level player, and 10 Nero shards. Day four is going to give you more speed ups, more officer XP, more par steel more Nero, day number five, or sink. You're gonna get 450, that's enough for three pulls in your premium. Then you get repair speed up, ship XP, and epic Nero. Then you get here, bam, 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 stuff for your Fendra, stuff for your Envoy upcoming, 20 Nero shards, and then speed ups here on day six. Finally, day seven, ending with what I believe is a fantastic set, number one, full unlock of Nero, and yes, Getting Kirk, Gorkon, and Nero at the beginning of the game are very, very vital. Three epics. Think of how those epics are going to help out. If you're a new player listening, well, maybe you don't need Nero on a battleship just yet. You'll see that on later things, like for an auger at level 34. But let me tell you what that Nero can do for you really well early on. Away team missions, which you unlock at Operations 8. Away teams are huge. And getting three epics at the beginning of the game is a fantastic jump start. And you got Nero simply for logging in seven days in a row. But wait, to quote the infamous Billy Mays, there's more. Remember those events I was talking about? Well, that is the Commander Academy rolling out here just a couple months ago. And as these things keep happening every couple months, you're giving new players and returning players, because I just started a new account on server 710. If you're one of those players, this is kind of how you can jump in. But as you can see, New Player Academy earn valuable rewards for free, including the legendary Epic Klingon Captain Gorkon which is your first major hull breach officer. New players probably don't know what that means, and that's okay. Returning players can definitely attest to the value of hull breach. Here's how it works. Entrance challenge is for the lower levels, three to six, where you're going to start earning shards, including some of the old you know, officer cadets and stuff. But C, establish relationship with new civilizations. You're actually going to move around and stuff. Navigate the complexities of FKR, teaching at the very beginning of the game the importance of faction rep, how it works, where it works, 
Find your ally. Forge alliances with the commanders. Getting into an alliance. Race level six. That's just getting you to ops up. So then you get the second challenge. Where now you're getting into lend the or lead landing parties to explore new planets. So teaching people how to use the relocation tokens. Eventually we're teaching people how to use the away teams. All these are like such needed aspects of the game. And while I did make a video talking about how you should never just force level yourself up if you're in the 30s or 40s, when you're down here at this level, this is the type of thing you need. You do need to something that pushes you not only in the direction of leveling up, but also how to level up effectively doing these missions. These missions do things like teach you where mission systems are. Believe it or not, one of the events literally shows you where the event systems are that you need to go to to pick up different missions. It teaches you where hostiles are at. If you're asking as a new player, level five system, well, it's going to typically have level five hostiles if you're looking for that for your hostile event slash mission that you got to run. So here you see the progress further in your command. And then finally, the final challenge, which is embark on bold missions into uncharted territories. Lead your crew on missions, diplomacy, and exploration, and acquire vital resources. You will get to learn mining. And woo, doggy, is Rev happy that we're learning how to mine? I'm so happy the game is teaching us mining. So, so happy. But truthfully, there are really nice things here that the game is doing to make the beginning better. But this is actually part of my point. This is what needy is needed to extend into later parts of the game. Imagine if there was a login reward, simply log in, and we're helping you get, say, Jean-Luc Picard. Even if it was one shard a day and it took you 180 days, because that's how many shards you need for Jean-Luc Picard. The, the idea that seems novel to you if you've played a lot of mobile games for login rewards seems like a fantastic way to start in this game to make things better, right? You want people to play your game. I get it, Scopely. What's a great way to make sure they log in every day? Login rewards, because if you miss this, well, then you missed it. Right? If it's a seven day thing, you gotta log in every seven days, here you go. Things like this. Having in the 20s, I can already tell you how I would set up these style of missions for the 20s. I would be teaching people about the disco and its importance, about mining uh, latinum and where that's out, about the Vidar and where Borg probes are. I can give you the same idea for levels 20 through 29 as I can right here, which is basically one through 15. Now, I mean, maybe we can extend 16 to 29. But regardless, this is a fantastic idea. And having these type of academy challenges is something that we hope to see the game, at least I hope to see the game, do more of. I think educating the players on how to play, more importantly, even the finer details, and then rewarding them for those things is such a big deal. And it's something I'm happy to say is happening for the new players. But there's a lot of you who aren't new. Many people who are going to watch this video have been around quite a while. And y'all can probably be jealous because this is not what New Game was like when we were there, was it? It took me two months to get to level 16. Now I can do level 20 in a week. Easy. And I'm going to end up with epic officers, rare officers, uncommons. I got Badgy just by creating a Scopely ID account, linking it in. I got Badgy and rewards. Like, the game has been giving out yummies. And that's including things like this. Before you ask, does my new level 12 account have a board cube on it? Here, darn right it does. Can't build it to level 28, but it's got a board cube. So, Scopely is obviously doing some really neat things for lower level players, and I'd love to see this type of thing expand. But as always, this is just my opinion. This is why I restart the game at least once a year to understand what they're doing with the new game and what new players are experiencing. I do want to say a couple things. Number one, if you are a new player watching this video, feel free to ask any question, whether it's on my Discord on Facebook, or even in the comment section. I'm glad and happy to help out all people. I'm definitely proud to be one of the content creators who answers player questions. And number two, what ideas do you see from this that if you're a, say, level 45, what would you like to see these type of events? Things like login rewards, things like the academy, or even things like the battle simulator. I know not everybody liked the battle simulator, but the battle simulator like ranks 11 through 20 say gave out oh i don't know huge shards i think maybe people will like it a little bit more i love those little challenges and i like that level of depth that has simplicity to it right the mirror universe had depth but no simplicity this has depth but also it's very rewarding because it's teaching you the game and rewarding you for doing the game i think that's the plan for the future It'd be my plan for the future 
I'm always going to want to know what you think down below. Again, new players, hit me up with questions you might have. And uh, veteran players, well, again, sorry about the lag. Hopefully the comp chest is great, though. We'll see. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.